Hello here is Transformholic100 again and I am back here with my part uh, 3 of my stuff on Red Walkthrough and I'm going to stop on Ditto there so let's continue yep. and where I left off last time I was just outside of the Pewter City Gym and if uh, if I go inside here, I'll see that it is different from different from the remake. So I'm just gonna check up on my Pokemon here. I'll Charmander and Pidgey. Okay, let's hope that these guys are weaker. I'm now gonna yeah, still. Well, in the remakes, it's good to know that they did not take away the rubbishy. Comparison. I'm surprised they knew about like years back now. Like when these games were made. My charm on Ooh, you only have a diglet, so this should be easier. Yeah. Hit him. I am. Uh, I'm sorry about this part being shorter than my last part. Part two was about half an hour long. Um. I'm actually go only going to make them about 10 minutes now because it takes ridiculously long to edit and do stuff to a half hour video and oh well, the level up that's good alright um so it takes a lot to edit them so I'm not going to make any more half an hour videos, I'm just going to stick with these 10 minute parts and I actually now I have a way to time them properly so I can actually tell because uh, the half an hour part 2 was just me losing track of time and, and playing for hours which has actually been much fun so I'm going through and trying to kill the sunscreen and it is killing me, so I'm going to go here. Hooray for potions. Because that stops the beat boot, which is intensely uh, Also, in my part 2, if you have seen it, uh, then you have to see it. I do very much apologise for... Um, for the... For, for the bad. Um, music from the actual game. Uh, I hadn't realised how much it would get picked up by the recording software. I realised that my voice, I didn't really, because you can't really hear your voice properly, so I didn't realise how loud my voice actually was compared to the music. Um, you know, he's dead. Um, got that. Anyway. So, I do apologise for that, hopefully you should be able to hear this, I can't hear what it's going to turn out like, because obviously I'm recording it. Again, this is live, I haven't as of yet had any comments about, um, about this, um, but that is mostly because I haven't... Damn! Okay, sorry. Oh, I just have to cut this out. Oh, I've also forgotten to do all the voices. Oh, I do apologize, Mr. Sir. I'll just have to go out here and then voice Brock. There again, as I record these before I actually put out the previous episode, especially as it's been taking a really long time for me to do episode 2 properly. Um, I should be putting I actually, I actually record one part on the same day I put out the other part, so I haven't yet had any comments about about me doing the commentary and, and the voices, but again, carry on, if you do think, I will ask the same question in this part, if you do think that I should um, do a live commentary and have this 
quality audio and thing. Okay, according to my channel, I've only got about four minutes to kill block. So. Right. <clears throat> if you believe I should do live commentary, please do. Please say so. If not, don't. Don't, because it would be very irritating if. Well, actually, no, if you don't want me to do it, do tell me. And if you do want me to do it, do tell me. Ooh, a geodude. They look absolutely ridiculous. They just look silly. I'm just going to scratch it. Of course, it's not going to do anything because I'm turbo mega super weak. I'm trying to ember. See which one does more. Oh, that actually does more, so I'm going to use that. The ember geodude. Ow. Getting to be very. Oh, come on. Oh, well. This is getting to be irritating trying to kill this geodude. Oh, well. come on, scratch. There we go. Oh, God. I just remembered that his onyx is stronger. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna ember it to death like I did with his geodude. Very effective, I know that. I really should have bought some more potions. I'm probably going to lose this. Unless he's just like super stupid. Which he does appear to be. Healing his Pokemon when. Oh, in fact, no, in that turn, I died. Oh well. Probably going to lose this battle. Or I could just use Pidgey's sand attack and. Make him never hit me, but it would just take too long and you probably wouldn't want to watch that. Really? And that's how bad it was. I only did one damage to him while he was using Bide. My Gust only does one damage. That is irritating. Because, as you should know, Bide does twice as much damage as dealt to the user while it is using Bide. Uh, so, as it did four damage to me, half of that is two, so that's the amount of damage I've done. I did in I inflicted two attacks on him, so half that means I only inflicted one dam. I'm only inflicting one HP loss per attack. But it it does actually appear to be working. I might beat Onyx with a Pidgey. Because it's just doing four damage to me every time and I'm nearly killing it. I really should have put on some more potions because I am very likely to die. Unless I'm just getting incredibly lucky and one misses or something. Oh See, see if that helps. Pepper it with sand attack. No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. Bad idea. Yes, good idea, good idea. Pooping and the pooping and the nay hurts my ears. This is the part I hate about Pokemon I always have. Oh, I just beat Monix with a Pidgey. I just won. I just beat him. I just beat him. Hooray! Ooh, I can now use Flash. And I got lots of money. TM34. Oh yeah. A TM contains a technique that can be taught to a Pokemon. A TM is good only once. So when you use one to teach a new technique. Pick the Pokemon carefully. And, uh, TM34 contains Bide. The Pokemon will absorb damage in battle and then pay it back double. 
and as you probably heard, that is my alarm to tell me that I have overshot my time, so I'm going to save it here. And that will be it 